Hi everyone, it's Valerie from Stampin' with Valerie and I want to welcome you to my most wonderful time um, medley series. This is video number three and we are going to be doing um, this cute little card today that is um, on page 39 of the holiday catalog from the most wonderful time medley series. So I'm going to get this down where I need it. I'm going to try to pull up my video here and hopefully I can get it so I can see everything that's happening. And it's not pulling up right, but that's okay. I'm gonna go with it anyway. So we're gonna start with a piece of old olive cardstock. And this little card is a note card. So it's a little bit smaller than a regular sized greeting card. And I'll have all the measurements down there in my blog for you to look at. And we're going to start with some old olive ink. And we're gonna start with this little star that comes in the stamp set. And we're going to stamp some stars down the right hand side of this card. And now you can do as many or as few as you want. Now all of this is not going to be shown just because that's going to be covered. So there really isn't too much point in um, covering that with stars. You know, there's no point in using your ink on that. So just do a little bit down the side. And now we have a piece of designer series paper. And this designer series paper was one of the um, gold and white, whisper white um, card fronts. And we, I just cut it down, which is what they did for their card, obviously. Same thing. So I'm going to hold the card front down here with that so it's easier for you to see what I'm doing. And I'm going to go ahead and put some snail adhesive on the back of this strip. And you're gonna adhere that to the left side of your card, not quite to the edge. You're gonna leave, mm, not quite, you know, a little bit between an eighth and a quarter, just on the side there. And then we have a piece of smoky slate cardstock and a piece of whisper white. We're gonna hold off on adhering that. We're gonna go ahead and stamp on our whisper white first. Got a bunch of ink underneath my fingernail now after doing I apparently stuck it right into the old olive, so I'm going to try to get a little bit of that off before I play with this Whisper White too much so I don't rub that ink on there. All right, so we're going to start with the old olive, and we are going to stamp some trees, and we've got one, two, three, five trees, and we're going to start with the first. It's just going to be full strength, and then next to it, we're going to go ahead and stamp off for one. And then we're going to do the same again, and we're going to stamp off, actually, because the next one is kind of light. And then we'll do another one really dark. I guess I got a lot of ink on that one. This is a new um, ink pad that I'm using, so it's really juicy. I didn't realize how juicy it was until I just stamped that, but that's all right. My trees are just going to be a little bit darker for this one than they were on the previous one. Now that we have that stamped, go ahead and we are going to adhere these two together. And that's just going to take a little bit of snail adhesive on the back of the Whisper White. And we just want to have it so it's just a little bit angled so you have a little piece of smoky slate coming out on the top and bottom. And then when it goes on your card it's going to be kind of on an angle just a little bit. So all you're going to have to put adhesive on now is just that smoky slate piece and I'm just going to do around the edge of it and I actually kind of like the way that looks with the darker trees it's kind of cute bring it kind of down toward the bottom because you want that smoky slate almost at the very bottom edge and now that we're done stamping I can set that old olive to the side and now we're going to go ahead and I have a stitched real red circle and this is a one and seven eighths inch circle and that is from the um, stitch shapes so go ahead and just put I like to do in a triangle three dimensionals on the back of that and you could start by putting your holly leaves down if you want first but I like to do them after just because you can stick them right underneath because I've only got the three um, 
dimensionals on the back. So, and those are just really skinny little stems on those. So they'll go right on the back. So we're gonna choose a deer from our sheet of deer stickers. Now, of course, since this is day three, we're already we're on our third deer. Now this one has a buck that's kind of looking to the left, but I think we're gonna use this. Let's just use the buck that's looking, or looking, yeah. We'll use the opposite one is what I'm trying to say. It's not coming out right. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple of dimensionals on the back of him. And then I don't really need any more of him to stick. I will put one small one, a mini dimensional on his head, but I don't need his horns or his legs to stick. So we're gonna go ahead and get that embossing buddy out. If there's anything you've learned from these videos so far is that the embossing buddy will really help you with the stickiness of these cardstock stickers and keep them from sticking where you don't want them to stick. Now I've got powder all over. I'm going to brush that off. Go ahead and take your backings off and we're going to use some of this tinsel. We haven't used this yet. This tinsel is fantastic. Now you just want a small piece for the back of him. So just stick it to find my scissors. Stick it to um, that dimensional because it doesn't need to be a huge piece and then just snip another little piece for the other and, and just stick it to that dimensional and now it's not sticking to his legs because we put that powder on there now we are just going to go ahead and stick him down and he's perfect his legs aren't sticking at all it's fantastic I love using that embossing buddy for that grab your Holly leaves, peel one of these smaller ones off for the bottom because this is going to be stuck all the way down. We aren't even going to use any embossing buddy on this because we want this one to be stuck all the way down. And after I said it's so easy to slide them in there, it's not sliding in there because it's sticking to my finger too much. Get one in there. You're going to use one for the top. It's a good thing I have two sheets of these because we're just going to stick one right there. And then there's one more that's going to stick out from right here, but I need a smaller one, so I need to get my second sheet of holly out, and I need to find it. It's in my other pile over here because I kind of separated everything before I started my videos the other day, and now I'm not going to be able to find my holly just because I want it. I might have to cut off one of these other pieces of holly to use for the video because I'm not finding it. That's all right, we're just gonna take one of these larger pieces and I'll show you how to improvise. Just go ahead and trim them. They trim off really easy. And now it doesn't even look like that's how it was. Looks like that is how it was supposed to be. I'm gonna powder just the leaves just a little bit because I don't want them sticking, but I want it to come out from behind the deer on this side. And I want the berries to stick, but I don't want the leaves to stick to the card. So it's a little bit different than the first one, but basically the same. And we're going to add some of these amazing stars. Now this one has a lot of these stars on it, but it really looks gorgeous. We'll add some stars on, and then we will get our sentiment and put our sentiment on there. This has like six different stars on it. So I mean you can you don't have to use six on it, but I'm going according to the catalog, so I'm doing what they did, so you can recreate it if you want to. Now I have a piece of um, soft sea foam, and we are going to stamp the Hope You Have a Wonderful Christmas in Memento Ink on here. I'm just gonna stamp it on there. It doesn't have to be. Let's flip it over because I didn't get that inked up enough. And then use your classic label punch to punch it out. And once you have it punched out, you're going to use that classic label punch again. And we are going to trim those edges off to make it the banner. So all you're going to do is just stick it in there so you just have it make a little diamond and punch that end off. And then do the same with this other end. Just make a little diamond punch that end off and then you have a banner tail. Isn't that great? 
I love that we can use that stamp like that, or that punch like that. And go ahead and put some mini dimensionals just on the right hand side of this because the left hand side is going to be over top of the deer there so you don't need any dimensionals right there or any adhesive really because it's going to lay just fine right over top of that little deer's leg. Hook that on there and you have the third project done from my most wonderful time product medley video series. So thank you for joining me today and join me tomorrow for video number four. Bye.